Hey guys, today we're going to do this trendy social media typographic portrait where you can see only half of the face and other half you can see it through the text. Alright, I'm going to use Affinity Designer in this tutorial, but you can actually do all of the steps in Affinity Photo as well because we're going to use only very basic tools. It will take you only 3 minutes to achieve this effect. There's a little time lapse running now in the background, but after that's finished, I'm going to give you step by step tutorial. Meanwhile, maybe you can just hit this subscribe button below the video. All right, I got my artboard set up to be square. And I also prepare an image with the face. Now I just dragging the line from the left side from the ruler. This will mark the center of the picture. So you can just click and drag guiding line from your ruler. If you cannot see the ruler, go to view and turn it on. I will turn it off, view and on. All right, here's my image. I'm going to resize that. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and now I will drag the corner to make it large. We want to position the face in the center of the image. It's why this line we make is really helpful. Okay, now I'm ready to trim unnecessary part of the image. So simply right click on the layer with photo in the layer panel on the right side and select rasterize and trim. Cool. We will have to cover half of the picture. So I'm using rectangle tool here. You can of course change the color of this rectangle, but white or black is the best in my opinion. In my case, I will stick with white. Now it's time for the text. So grab type tool and type your text, something short. Then you can use enter or return key to create several lines so separate your text into several different lines like this so it's more like vertical and we also need a bold font so let me just change the font actually i got font that is called the bold font <laughs> it's free so you can find this easily on many popular font websites the bold font perfect now we can resize that position here now the font is black. We want to fill this with image. So I'm going to make a duplicate of the original picture here. Right click, duplicate. And now I drag this below the text layer. Right click on the text. And we will clip this to below, mask to below. And now I got this image only in the text. And the best part of this method is if I click on the text layer only, if I click on the whole layer, I can move everything. If I take on the text only like this, I can move the text, but the picture stay above in the same position. That's really handy. That's very flexible. We can edit this text later. Of course, you can make some changes to the paragraph text. You can hit Command or Control T. It will pop up this character window for you and you can modify how the letter act what is the distance between letters vertically and horizontally. So you can adjust that as well. And here is our trendy portrait when the half of the face is covered and we can only see it through the text. It's really easy and quick project. So I encourage you to try. And as I mentioned, you can actually do this one in any affinity program. So whatever you got, designer like me here or maybe photo or even publisher that's possible in any software from affinity at the end you can just hit export select the format you like to publish and export and that's it thank you for learning with me today and i hope i will see you in the next tutorial bye